What's up, everybody? Welcome to day 179, making Songbringer. Um, I've been working, this is Songbringer, Zelda-like procedurally generated game. Um, and I've been working so much on, oh, whoa, whoa, on the overworld lately. So the overworld used to be paths were always on the west, the east, the north, and the south. And I'm in god mode right now, so that means I can run really fast and I can run through walls just so I can see the entire overworld as fast as possible. Um, so yeah, and now with this uh, this new procedural overworld generator, it's got these really cool interesting paths like this, for example. There's sort of maze-like paths going on at times. See this? To get to this level right here, you'd have to go and go up this path and figure that out or whatever. And it gets more and more interesting as you get deeper into the maze too. So, and then there, of course, there's other areas where it's just a little more simple, like, I don't know. I, I, I think I need to put more areas that are a little more simple, actually. This is getting, this is a little bit too maze-like. But what I'm trying to do now is take, um, take all this new cool stuff, but yet still have the old interesting style of, there, there's a few things from the old overworld that I'm missing. I'm really missing, for example, there used to be uh, bridges. There's these little bridge tiles that used to go across things. Like this, for example, would have been a bridge. It's just a little wooden bridge. Um, I'm missing that. And also, if you go down to, whoops, just ran off the whole world. What? What's up, Alex Pita and Azenris? Without fail lag? Oh, dang, man. Well, Let's, let's hope you get through the 10 minutes as fast as possible. You probably didn't even hear me say that. But hey, what's up? Welcome. Um, so yeah, so what I'm working on right now is just getting this, um, getting these tiles. So the overall paths now are created for this overworld, and I'm still working on the tiles. So here's one, one area that is just not as interesting anymore now that, now that it's like this, because too much of the center has been carved out. Same thing with, um, yeah, with this area right here. You can see that there's this little bit right here, this chunk has been carved out and it really doesn't need to be. So that's one thing too I could fix. And then, you know, adding in um, paths for those, um, like right here, these should be bridges. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan today, just to keep on working on the overworld, making it more interesting. So, <clears throat> yo, Lith, what's up? Zybook, what's up, man? Yo, welcome to the stream, everybody. Things are going good today, already. Um, Lith, you were watching last night as I was upgrading Rapid Game. Things are, actually, I figured out what was going wrong with that. Um, there's a bug in the new Cocos 2DX where if you have a scene without a layer, then it does that bug. So I submitted a bug report last night, and I am using the new version of Cocos 2DX now with Songbringer, so I'm using Rapid Games 0910, which is Coco Studio X 3.7, um, and so far I haven't seen any issues with it. So I'm really, I'm really excited about that. One great thing about the new Coco Studio X is that they've actually finally implemented a float array for um, GL shaders. So you can pass in a, an array of floating point values into your shaders, your custom shaders. So that's really cool. I used to have to rewrite and add one of my own functions to Coco Studio X to do that, and now I don't need to do that anymore. So that's sweet. So, um, moving on, let's get the player at a position where he, where we want to work on the area. For example, let's start with this one right here. This area, I want to go and make sure that it doesn't carve too much, too many rocks. Like right there, there should be some rocks. It should be a smooth, um, a smooth area right there. So, I'm going to save and quit right here. Yeah, yeah. So that was good. That was good to get that figured out with with what was going wrong with Coco Studio X. It was quite a sleuthing type of. It's like, how the heck am I going to figure this out? But it got figured out. So that's sweet. So the pattern that it's it's placing those um, that one area that I want to round out is part of pattern connector. Pattern connector has two different methods now. It either does pattern quadrant 
or this total fill. And so that one you should be using pattern quadrant. Oh, I don't need this anymore. So inside pattern quadrant, I bet you there's something where I'm checking the interior. No. Hmm. So it wasn't that. First thing I'm going to do is comment out this pattern fill just to verify that it is using the pattern quadrant and not the other one. Yeah, okay, uh, I think I know what it is now. It's using pattern. It's using the is open path and is open path does detect interiors as well. So I'm thinking that, yeah, so, <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ethan? Is open path, um, it has this check for interior and exterior. I'm thinking that it is, it would help to have a variable that I could pass into is open path that would not carve out any interior paths, only only on the edges. Let's try it. Yeah, so is open path. I'm trying to think if there's a better way to do this. Nice, there you go, man. Make it more every day. I don't know if there is a better way to do this. I guess I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna roll with this idea of adding a variable for now. Until I can think of a better idea. There's gotta be a better way of doing this this way. So if I were to if we're to do it this way, I would go check if it's an interior path and then if it is an interior path and we're not including the interior paths when this whole thing, then we would just continue the loop. Okay, so that's going to give me a bunch of errors in the places where I'm already using is open path. So go fix all those. This one, this is pattern quadrant. This is the particular one where we want to not include the interior. The other ones we want to, we do want to include the interior. Uh, no, I've never heard the music called Envy. Is that a band or something? What's this? Oh. Yeah, this one we want to allow interior to. Okay, let's see if this it works. What I think might be the one problem with this is that it's it should carve out More of a path. Uh, dang, it didn't work. So we still got 
Still got this chunk right here. It's it's carving out. Curious. Wait, this screen might be better. I think that one's better. Oh, yeah. I don't really like techno music myself. It's not my cup of tea. It's too repetitive for me. Oh, check that out. Oh, duh, we want to call false. Or, wait. Okay, I must have implemented it the exact opposite way that it should. Because it's fixed now. Okay, so what did I do wrong here? <clears throat> yeah, sorry man, I don't really like techno and I can't play music on my live stream because my, my videos get flagged. Okay. So with that being true, I think I might have writ written the, the Boolean false or incorrectly. Ah, uh, okay. So we got pattern quadrant. This is passing in true to is open path. Ah, yeah, that was supposed to be not include interior. Cool. Well, I know it works now. Win it all. What's up? Welcome to the stream, win it all. I hope you're winning it all today. Sweet, cool. Okay, well now we've got these. These are not being too carved out right there. Oh, I think, okay, I think I know what's going on with this path. This might actually be a quadrant. This is actually supposed to be a squarish quadrant there. Ah, uh, now, okay, so pattern home. Yeah, I'm working on the quadrants right now. Ethan, all I've done today is I worked on Rapid Game this morning. Okay, so is open path. Not pattern shape, but home, here it is. Yeah, so in home, we wanna also use false. So we're not carving out any, any of the interior. Yeah, cool. So now we've got the the home screen looking like it used to. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so we've got a path going to the left. Looks like it ends right there. I don't think that's actually what's supposed to be happening. Well, we gotta fix that. Um, I think that one's okay, but it doesn't look that good. I wish I wish this bit was better. Right there. And then of course I want to do some I want to do a bridge right here across these kinds of water bits right here. Start with the bridge. Flecker, hey, welcome to the stream, man. Okay, so yeah, let's let's put the bridge back in really quick. Um, bridges. Where was that again? Yeah, let's hear an area, area patterns. Um, 
Here it is, create bridges. Hello, what's up, Boshi? Welcome to the stream. So here's where it creates bridges. Just get, my goal now is to get it to create these bridges again. Whenever there's a path over water, like this one right here, this is a prime example of where there should be a bridge. Here too. Looks like that was not the code that's supposed to do it. Yeah, it didn't work at all. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. the way that this used to build bridges was totally different. I guess I could start with something simple and see if this works. If, I, if this doesn't work, I'm going to move on to something else pretty quickly because I don't want this to take too much time. Um, if this is open path x y I guess we can include the interior as well and then I'll grab the direction uh, when it all I normally stream about this time it's like 4 p.m. ish Pacific time so whatever that is in your time I'm usually streaming about this time sometimes it's totally different though so the best way to, to catch me live is to actually follow um, on Twitch because then you'll get notifications when I do go live. And so sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's an hour different each day. I'm really random as to when I get started. It's all, I kind of got to fit, fit it into my daily schedule and make sure I have something interesting to show you guys too. So sometimes I'll work on something um, until I get it to the point where it's ready for you guys to see or whether whether you know ready for you guys to um where it's just basically it's just interesting enough to live stream about it okay we've already got his open path here nano what's up welcome to the, to the stream today Yeah, this is going to take too long right now. I'm going to skip this bit right here where it's creating, trying to create bridges. My goal is to do is some stuff as fast as possible um, to just get the world looking like it used to. So I might, I might work on the bridges later tonight. So next thing... Let's, let's fix this bug right here where... It's it's put this whole chunk of rocks here in the middle, and it really shouldn't have. You can see from the actual map that got generated right here that this should be a totally open area on the interior, and it's just closed off right here. So there's something wrong with this. It looks like it didn't even try... Let's see what it did, actually. Oh, Nano, like, well, 
two weeks ago, before I started this whole new maze generator, the world used to look better than this. So, um, so before it had, it only had an opening to the left, to the right, north and south. There was always, and they were always centered. So like it, there might be an opening here in the center going north. Um, and that allowed me to do patterns for these overworld bits that looked, um, that looked, they were actually pretty easy to generate. But now that I've got all these different separate kind of paths, like for example, this one is a totally different kind of path. There's this right here, there's this over here. You know, this is a totally different kind of path. So I really need to get the world looking better. Um, and, and like I said a little bit earlier, I was talking about, you know, citing some examples like this screen right here. This screen is just looking too barren, too open. And the over, the old overworld never really had anything like that. So I'm just, I'm just working on the overworld still, getting the tiles to look right. And here's a bug, for example. This shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any stuff here. So I'm going to save where the player's at right here. And um, I can go back to that area. I think it's using pattern connector for that one. And I think it's using the fill pattern. No, no, I don't have to backtrack. I'm just, yeah, I'm changing the new stuff. Yeah, I'm making the new, the new world be able to draw as good as the old world. Right, yes, exactly, yeah. Certain area, yeah. That's a good point, right? It's a really good point. I could just leave that area how it is and just use it for a mini boss or some other kind of cool event. In fact, there might already be an event on that screen that's not being drawn now for some reason. Okay, this is using the pattern quadrant. I wonder why I just piled all this huge mountain here in the middle. So if I if I comment all this out. Yeah, that's definitely the pattern it was using, the quadrant. Why would pattern quadrant ever draw? I'm going to set a breakpoint back here. When area pause is six. Six zero. So I can set a breakpoint and where it gets to that area and figure out why why the pattern quadrant is filling in the middle. It should never do that with the pattern quadrant. Okay, so starting with the southeast quadrant. Okay, let's take a look at the variables we have already. Um, flip x true, flip y false. That would be southeast, yeah. We've got open north, that's correct. Open south false, east west true true. Shape is one. Did 
difficulty two. Got a random number, it turned out to be 99. There's no secret. Shape is still one. Thickness is 16. Hmm. Okay, let's see what kind of shape it's drawing. XX, YY, XX is 20, YY is 0. Oh, it didn't draw anything. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. The first the first line should always be filled in. Now we've got x1 y0 still. So I want to get to YY's one at least, so we can see what kind of shape it's drawing. There we go. Ah, here's the here it is. Here's what it is. The thickness of the line for this it's creating an L shape, which is basically just, you know, a squarish type of shape. And um the thickness is so huge. Now I'm trying to figure out what the heck this, this is a poorly commented thing right here because I don't know what this does exactly. X is greater than one plus thick, which is never going to be. Thickness is way bigger than the width of a quadrant. Wonder how the heck that ever happened. I would imagine a thickness of one is the minimum and then half the half the height minus two would be the let's try that hmm
Let's try manually setting it. Yeah, there you go. This definitely has to do with the thickness of the line that it's drawing. So if this thickness was like three. We're starting to get this to close in more and more. Four, I think f maybe five might be the max, so. Hmm. Oh, that's really weird. Sweet, ha! Oh no! Oh no, man! Did you hurt yourself? Dang! Yeah, dude. That's right, Nano. Kicking ass. I hope you didn't really literally kick your own ass, though, that bad. Oh, good, good. High five, man. You just, you cheated death today, yesterday. Difficulty times eight. That doesn't seem right. Times eight. This is drawing quadrants, so I think this it might be better to just comment this code back in here. What's up, Tilly US? Tilly US? Yeah, man, there's at least six months left. This is, re it's not as polished as it actually seems, but thanks, man. There have been several releases, so I've released um, a preview version to the press a couple months ago when I was doing the Kickstarter. That probably, it's probably why this game is, looks so polished is because it has been released several times. There's been an alpha version, um, and now the, the first beta version is coming up pretty soon, so I've really, I gotta haul ass. I got a lot of work left to do before the beta, but yes, there's a total to-do list. There's already something like 90 different items or something on my to-do list that I rarely get to. There's over 100 you saw right there. Yeah, this is a little better, I think. That ensures the paths, if, you're, if it's using the path or the pattern quadrant, it makes sure to put the middle free and open but it shouldn't be right there mm.
Yo, it's a fan. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream today, man. Hey, hero, you look. Yes, you mean from yesterday? Yes, I figured it out. So if you're watching yesterday's stream, I was working on um, upgrading Rapid Game. And the problem was that um, there is a bug in the newest version of Cocos 2DX. And I submitted a bug to the Cocos 2DX team. Um, basically, if, um, if, you have a, if you create a scene and you don't give it a layer... That used to be okay because now in in Coco Studio X everything that is a um, here's the the issue I submitted um, everything that that is a, either a scene or a layer or whatever they're all nodes and technically you should be able to have a scene without any layers. Oh, the cliff today. Oh, um, which one? What are you talking about? See if we do that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I've, I'm working on that fix right now. I'm still working on it because um, there's. See now it's fixed, right? This is the this is the um, this is the area that's now open, but there's a few things that it shouldn't be, right? Like this, it doesn't really need this path open right here, this little bit right there. Um, and it should probably work with the function called is open path. So it's probably not the most accurate thing to just throw in this X center, Y center thing. But what we'll really fix it the most. Yeah, yeah. What what really fixed it the most was um clamping this thickness right here. That's just what that's what did it. So I think I'm gonna integrate this this kind of fix. So I put this back in. It's actually gonna, it's actually gonna not quite have it fixed because um, part of the edges. See that? It's got. It's still gonna have a few rocks. So I think what the the uh, the proper what is? I guess that's the right word, right? Not proper, but a better way to fix this would be to integrate this into is open path. So. If we're not including the interior, I think it should have a longer start. It would be something like this, if not include interior. Um, we we'll switch the direction and apply some apply some magic to the finish. For example, whether you're center or not, let's start with the direction south. South would be the top of the screen. So if, like on this this example of this screen right here, south would be the, um, the north quadrant, actually the northwest and the northeast quadrants. There's the middle, center. So basically these rocks right here are what I'm going to focus on first, is these, these south ones. Um, and I think what I want is finish dot y, right? So we got finish y is half the quadrant height. And same thing here. Yeah, we want finish y to be, let's say, three quarters the quadrant height. Hello, Fox Wolski. What's up, Wolski? 
Yeah, I did. I painted a bird, man. Last Sunday. Um, I physically actually painted a bird, a peacock. My girl wanted a peacock. I'm like, I can do that. Oh, it didn't work. This did not work right here. This should have extended that. Oh, this should be a qu times a quarter. Wait. Finish Y, start, start Y. Oh, it might be the start Y, actually. So south starts at zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. One sec. I'll get it. So here it is. It's just a peacock. Wait. Not actually? Oh. Yeah, this is the painting. That's how it turned out. So. No, not awkward. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, that's the peacock, and um, let's see if I can figure this out uh, with the right. So this okay, the um, it's not south; it's actually north. Yeah, it's north. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to get to that. Um, so north starts at half the quadrant height and finishes off at quadrant height minus one. So we want to change the start y for north to be yeah, a quarter of the quadrant height. Let's see if that works. This will basically carve a bigger path to yeah all right so that did kind of work so we've got it carved a few more of these tiles right here out of the way <clears throat> okay so let's let's put it a little bit lower nice cool man yeah well, if you haven't watched in a while, let me show you what's changed, basically. Pete and Wally, what's up, man? What's changed is the whole overworld is four times as interesting. So the overworld used to be this map. I'm running a scene of the game that'll show me the overworld. So this is what the overworld looks like. This is what the overworld generator looks like, right? It generates this whole map. And so it used to be that every one of those little grid tiles you see there, um, each one of those used to only have four paths and now each one of the areas has 16 paths so it creates a really interesting maze I can show you what I mean by running around the overworld a little bit I'm in God mode right now that's why I can run through walls and run really fast so um, you can see the the maze actually starts taking over in certain parts it's and it becomes like this one for example here We've got a path over here that gets stuck, and then a path over here that leads to something else. Um, well, that one's, that one's broken right there. But anyways, you get the point, right? It used to be that every area was cut and dry. There was only a west, east, north, and south. And now every area has the opportunity for mazes, literally just mazes worth of, um, of tiles. So it's just a lot more interesting to play. Or it should be a lot more interesting to play. I haven't played it yet because I'm still working on it. So it's been 
It's been over a week now I've been working on this, so lots and lots more work to do still. <clears throat> hey, Lucarno, what's up, man? Hey, it's been a minute. Hope you're doing good. How am I going to keep the game balanced? I'm going to try not to. <laughs> no, really. I mean, there's 300 million worlds. Some of the worlds are just not going to be as balanced, and that's going to be cool. Some of the worlds are going to be really fun to play because they're so difficult and unbalanced. So I'm not even going to try. Yeah, exactly. Hero, you look. Exactly. I need to keep working on this right here, just like you said. Yeah. Thanks, Wolski. Uh, Tilly, us, there are no more tile sets yet, but I've, I've got to get to that. So, you know, once I get to the point where I'm actually done with all this whole procedural code stuff, I'll get back into working on tile sets and stuff, and there'll be a lot more tiles. There'll be jungles. There's going to be a dark jungle area. There's going to be, um, there's going to be a mountain area. There's going to be caves. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff, so... I'll get to that. Yo, Clock, what's up, man? Life's awesome. I'm coding. I'm doing my favorite stuff. Let's see if point one works. Yeah, it doesn't have to be balanced. What's actually cool, what's actually will be interesting is that it's it is unbalanced. It'll be fun to find those worlds that are easier or find the worlds that are harder. Yeah, there we go. Cool. We've got a nice path carved through right there now. Let's see if we can put it at like one one five or something. Yeah. You're trying to cross a jungle right now in a game? That's funny. You keep dying? What game? Don't pour salt on my wound. Yeah, that works. Did point two work and I just didn't notice? Oh yeah, point two works. Okay, so now let's apply the same kind of fix to the south, west, and east. Wait, these are now all going to be the same. Oh, Wolski, yeah, no, that's a good point. Oh, Terraria, yeah, I've I've seen that one. Yeah, um, Wolski, I I do have, I've got planned for the game to always be, always be able to be beaten. So for example, the maze generator is just an algorithm that always works, right? So I have I know that this path is traversable, right? As long as I can make sure the actual areas get created with these paths and that nothing is blocked off with the tiles, then it will be completable. It'll just be okay because I know this maze generator works. So. RNG. Momir, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> uh, Terraria. That's a good one, right? I've seen it. I think it's on my wish list on Steam. So, south. Okay, south would be starting at zero, ending at half the quadrant height. We want it to end higher, so this is going to be quadrant height times 0 0.8. And I can't really verify that on the screen. Oh, but these trees are not are not right. Is that right? Start Y? No, that's not right. Start Y is going to be always be zero. It's finish Y. So I can verify that on the next screen up. Yeah, totally. I'm pretty sure it's on my wish list. <laughs> I like bunnies. What's up? Don't play Terraria if you have anything to do. Yeah. Cool, yeah. 
Yeah, I got to play some more games. I got some good ones on my wish list. And I've also got some good games I've purchased on Steam but never played. I just got to get to them because I spend most of my time making the game. So I do need to – I probably should do that tonight. Really, I should just play some games tonight. Take the day, take the rest of the night off after the stream or something. Okay, we got East now. Um, East is starting. East is gonna be the same thing as like North. It's gonna be start X, which is just that. Bad Rats, best game. I haven't even heard of Bad Rats. The Rat's Revenge. <laughs> oh, this is a physics game? Looks like it. Cool. I'm pretty sure Terraria is on my list. I gotta sign in. Yeah, here, look. Yes, I'm the only one working on this. It's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> Don't even look it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, here, you look. I'm I'm the guy that does everything. I do the... um. I guess that's the wrong login. Maybe that's the wrong username or something. I don't know. I'll get Terraria added to my list later. Yeah, I do all the code, I do all the art, and I do all the sound. I do I do the business too. It's a it's a one man project. It's I love it that way. It's really cool to be making all of this myself. It's the first game I've ever made all myself, and it feels really really good. It's very empowering, right? It's like wow, I could do anything. I can make a whole game myself. So, and I also hope that it's an inspiration to other people too. Like just you know that one guy can do everything, including music. Most yeah, it probably does on according to uh, Steam's Steam's. Uh... Thanks, man. Yeah, it's uh, I've been developing games for twenty years, so I should have that these kind of skills by now, right? It's not I'm not a genius or anything. It's just that I've spent a lot of time making video games, so I've done this a million times. So that's why it's just it's pretty easy and natural at this point. Um, K East. So East is going to start at half the quadrant width and finish off at the entire quadrant width. And we want it to. Yeah, we want it to start at point two exactly. That was that's exactly right. It's the same thing as the north with the different dimension so and I think this would be ought to be the same here for West let's try that out without even checking cool good good man yeah whoa it took you fixed you finished a voxel world generator that's awesome and you said it took four bears like did you mean for to say four years van red what's the hardest part yeah I would say it's hard for me to say because the the new it's it also depends on how much experience you have in something. So for example, I have the most experience in programming, but still, I, w I would have said a few months ago that art was the hardest thing for me because like I'm the newest to art. So you know, like drawing tiles and tile sets and characters and stuff, all this stuff is new to me. So I would have said a few months ago that it's the hardest thing, but now that I've um, I don't know now that I've been added a little bit longer I would still say that programming is the hardest part because it's just there's so many it's just it's so time-consuming so many bugs or maybe it's just that I've I've taken on a pretty challenging thing and that it's a it's a procedurally generated Zelda like game which is a lot of code oh forever yeah I know right art I do I do have a thing to recommend if anybody is struggling with making art I did do this one little um, mini video series called from programmer to artist so if you're if you're just getting into making art this might help you what was the hardest thing to learn programming wise 
Um, I would say real-time multiplayer was the hardest thing I've ever done. And debug really debugging real-time multiplayer games is the hardest thing in the freaking world. Getting, getting real-time multiplayer games to stay in sync was so difficult. Cool. Good for you, man. Wow, you did it in two weeks? That's pretty fast. Ah. Oh, music? Oh. Well, I don't know. I guess music's... I don't know. I guess it's kind of natural for me to make music because I've been making it for about 10 years now. And I've jammed a lot. You know, I've, I spent a few years of my life where I just jammed with friends and played guitar and I learned, I learned drums and... Yeah, cool. That worked. We got open paths now. Um, so yeah, um, but if you are looking at learning how to make music, if you if you do want to take that on and you don't feel so intimidated, um, I do have some videos where I go into the music making process here in, with Songbringer. Oh, check it that That is really interesting. This screen turned out awesome. Like straight up this cool centered path right up to this cave? Wow. I wonder why this is broken though. Let's save and quit right here. What's up, Xbox Taco? <laughs> Ding. Ding. Uh. Nice, Vamarid, good for you. Cool. Where are you studying at? Game engineering, that's so awesome. When I was at, when I was in college, we didn't have game program. We didn't have any kind of game um, degrees. We actually I think they were starting to have <laughs> more cowbell. But yeah, that's so sweet that there there's a lot more um, colleges and universities now that have game programming as part of their you know, their curriculum. It's because it's such a it's a multi-billion dollar industry now. You played piano for five years? Nice. You probably know. You, you got it, man. You could make music, too. Yes, that's right. I wasn't just... I wasn't lead triangle. I was the backup triangle. Oh, man. Yo, kind of coder. Hey, man. It's been a minute. I hope you're doing good. Welcome to stream. Let's figure out why... Okay, so what I'm looking at now is this screen inside this cave where the bottom is closed off. Right now I'm, st I'm standing on some rocks. Those shouldn't be rocks right there. Oh, Pete and Wally. That's a good idea. I, I, I definitely want to have Easter eggs like littered through this game. I want to have so many secrets. But one thought I've had is actually to get involved with some other musicians and have them put their music in the game. And maybe some of that would be secret. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely a, definitely a a focus at first, right? I think it might actually be closed off or something. I think there's a a path for the cave or a pattern for caves. Here it is, Pattern Cave. Yeah, right? Oh, cool, cool. Benny Hill theme? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, I've, yeah. It's a good point. It's a good point. But it will be secret to the people that aren't looking online. You know what I mean? Some people will look online and those kind of people, you know, they don't, they don't, they're not going to get the reward of finding it themselves. Thanks, Vamered. Thank you, man. Thanks for saying that. Yeah. Cause for me, art is, I think my weak point, but, um, I'm getting better. So thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I feel like I started getting way better when I finally started doing these big scenes like this one where 
you know, I tried to do some more epic art and it really helped me get my skills up to the next level with making pixel art and stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure it's using this. So I'm gonna comment that out and then I'll obviously show me if it's using this pattern for the cave. Yeah, oh yeah. They will be procedurally generated. Do you wanna, that would be cool if there were procedurally generated songs though. Like not, not just procedurally arranged, but actually generated songs. Cactus. Okay, so that did obviously show me that it's using pattern quadrant here. Pattern quadrant. Oh. Okay, so is open path. I really want to see the um the maze that's generated for Oh, oh, I know, I know what to do. MIDI, right? Yeah, that could be possible. It would be pretty easy if you just kept it in the same key and you kind of, oh my gosh, it would, it would be actually pretty easy. Wow. You know what I mean? Like you could come up with a pattern like whole note, whole note, half note, half note, or whatever. And then you just, as long as you kept those notes within the same key or those, you know, those pitches within the same key, it would sound somewhat musical. And it'd be pretty easy to come up with a, a, a drum beat generator. Those, those are just placement, timing. A creepy Easter egg? Yes, I would love that too. Let's, let's, I'm gonna add that to the ideas list. I've got a few of those in here. That people, people mentioned ideas um, a while ago that were kind of like that, but I like, oh, I'm just gonna write it down anyways. Creepy Easter egg. <laughs> right? Right? Procedural music. Totally. Anybody could do it. And what's cool is like ideas like this, they're gonna turn out different for me. They're gonna turn out different for you. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're gonna be totally unique. That's what's so great about cool ideas. In-game Farmville. <laughs> In-game Farmville. Oh my God. I don't know. I think I would. I think I would respect myself less if I had to even write the code for Farmville. Oh yeah. Okay. So in the maze, there's this one thing in the post maze generator where it goes and opens up right here. If it has a single room, it sets the openings, true, false, false. Oh yeah, this is not what I want. I want, um, yeah, so it's set them, set them all the false. And then set open. We're gonna use the X, Y, extra offset dir method. Um, so x is zero, y is zero, the extra offset is k south east, direction k south, and that is open true. I believe that will fix it. So it guarantees the maze will be proper for these caves where they only have one area. No, oh, it didn't work. Okay, so again, I need to figure out what the heck is what what kind of maze it's actually generating for this area. Yeah, yeah, Van Red pre-order is going to be up for forever until it gets released. So yeah, take your time and thank you, Space Invaders. Now that's a cool idea. I like that with enemies from the game. Right on. What if it? Yeah, totally. Enemies from the game. It could actually. You could actually be flying in Songbringer the ship. That that might work. You know what? Let's let's do some random stuff here. Like let's do a south. Let's do 
Um, yeah, southwest going west is open just to see if it's actually if it's paying attention to this, if it's even using this for the for this. Hey, thanks for following. Yeah, okay, it's not even paying attention to this. All right. Um Oh, I think I know why. I don't think it's calling generate overworld post. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Yeah, get some sleep for sure. Thanks, man. Good night, clock. Space invaders with Farmville animals. Cool, thanks, Nano. There's also gonna be Retro. Retro VGS is gonna be one of them too. Lighter Thief, what's up? So yeah, I think what, yeah, this is not calling generate overworld post for every single level. So this does need to be back in the generate method. Here, that needs to be, that belongs there. And hopefully that works. Get out again, yo, it's going great, Lighter Thief. So great, so great, yep. I'm starting to have really good energy again. I, I started changing my diet a bit. Oh yeah, look at this. Cool, we've got a, a pat, it's in the wrong place, whoa. It's in the wrong place, but. Oh, I think I know how to fix this. Yeah, I started I started changing my diet a little bit. Um, I'm reading this book called Healing with Whole Foods, and um, I started basically eating a lot more uh, wheatgrass and and seaweed and all this kind of gross stuff. But man, it's giving me good energy again. I know energy is a good thing, right? I don't fall asleep while I'm coding. That's that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, now the pattern to say whether something's open or not. This op is open path thing. It goes and does this complex thing to decide whether it's a center, a path is centered. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, when you combine it right, when it's with sushi, it's awesome, right? Yeah, it's not quite vegetarian. I used. I think the problem was for like the last five years, I spent most of my life eating tons of eggs, tons of like chicken meats, you know, basically just like overeating um, protein because it's like a, a fad diet almost here in the United States at least. Um, and I read in this book called Healing with Whole Foods that basically that builds up calcium in your actual soft tissue and stuff basically it's a, it's a bad long-term diet so um anyways the chlorophyll in in those kinds of things i just mentioned are, are really good for rebuilding your body's energy if you've because i'm starting to feel like i did 10 years ago you know and the thing was i was just basically i had a bad diet yeah totally right dried and salted totally it's a great way to do it Seaweed, it's kind of amazing, but it has tons of mag magnesium in it, and that's um, really important for your bones. It guides calcium into your into the right places in your body. Thanks, Momir. Thank you, man. Yeah, you are what you eat. Totally. That means <laughs> that means I'm a big egg because I used to have only eggs practically. I used to have like four eggs at least a day. So I, I was an egg.
So we need some more logic for these centered paths. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna start having I'm starting having green skin and like weird seaweed like hair. <laughs> no, totally. And I and and that's not to say that I won't stop eating eggs. It's just that I'm gonna eat a little bit less eggs. You know what I mean? Four eggs a day might be a little bit too much, but maybe if I cut that back to like two eggs a day, you know? I don't know what it is, but I think it was just overall long term, it was a bad diet. So of my own, I'm not just talking about eggs, I'm talking about everything involved in the whole diet. So um, if D is K south and Q is K southwest or Q equals K southeast and area pause dot X dot Y equals zero. Center equals true. That should open up the, those paths. Yeah, right. Yeah, most stores don't eat, don't eat, don't sell a lot of seaweed. Yes, there we go. We have it working again. Whoa, now. I think it was doing that because I was running fast. I know four eggs is a bit too much, right? Four soft boiled eggs a week. So, you know that's a, that sounds more balanced. Right, yeah. Yeah, it was it was definitely I had an unbalanced diet for sure, so it's great to be feeling energy again. It's it's super awesome because I can code more and I can make more art and all that. Okay, I think what was going on is I was in God mode and I ran really fast and ran out of the world. So let's turn off God mode for a second. Um and I should be able to Yes, there we go. Cool. What the heck? Oh, that was funny. Ooh, got some bombs. Okay, so yeah, this is working again. We got a, a nice, clear, open path on these um, these guys. Oh, one thing I don't want as many. I don't want these green water hoppers down here. I'm going to turn off the water hoppers in the in there. <laughs> yes, seaweed. Totally. We need a seaweed item that's going in. Seaweed. Oh, thanks, hero. Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, the eating animation can work for eating just about anything. Okay. Yeah, the water hoppers are um, here. Hoppers. Area pause dot Z. I'm gonna set this to be only the overworld has the water hoppers. Cool. Okay, so now this this cave has a few flies. We see these little black flies flying around. It's got a black butterfly type thing. Um, but yeah, now the overworld can have. It's the only thing it has. Is it ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the stream down. Then. Are you sure? Yeah. We're having dinner, guys. It's dinner time. So yeah, it's been a good stream. Got a lot done. Um, <clears throat> oh, permanent fear. So I think I, I might have actually just accidentally erased my save. No, cool. I didn't erase the save game. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Yeah, I won't eat too many eggs. Vampire teeth item. Eating animation instead of sword animation. Heal yourself. 
Cool. I like it. I'm adding that too. Vampire teeth. See you, Azra. See you, everybody. Back, Nick. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm just about to shut it down, but I get the shadow effects from a custom shader. I actually spent about two weeks working on just that shader, but that's how the shadows... Oh, if you're talking about the shadows that come off of the player and uh, lots of other entities in the game, that's just this 2D sprite that has been rotated and skewed and then blurred with a custom shader. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I am gonna. I think it's a good idea, Momir. I should play some games tonight after I, I'm going to work on... Uh, I'm just going to check this code in after we have dinner, and then I'll... Yeah, that's it. Ekloff, whoa, what's up, man? Sorry, man, I'm just about to shut this stream down, but I haven't seen you in a minute. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing really good, man. Um, later, guys. 